Fitness Power Queen 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery power full size kitchen refrigerator a high end gaming PC workstation full size household vacuum cleaner an electric hot plate a batch of wash a 120 volt mini split heat pump full size microwave a full size household gas furnace this is my full size kitchen refrigerator that i use uh, on a daily basis and uh, if you take a look here we've got the cord coming over here and uh, it's coming back here to this uh, testing setup where we're going to see how long this 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from power queen will run that fridge for simultaneously we will be doing a capacity test so let's just uh, plug the battery into this power station. Notice that it is 2.32 p.m. that we're starting this test at. And then this is the smart shunt here, and you can see I've zeroed everything out. For me, it's gonna be a couple hours. For you, it'll be just a split second. Okay, it's 10 a.m. This uh, fridge test uh, has now completed using this Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, I was about an hour late uh, to getting uh, back to this. This battery here, ran my full-size fridge for approximately 18 hours. Let's see what our capacity uh, ended up being. All right, and the results of the capacity test, 98 amp hours. However, knows that the number in the bottom left, 1.3 kilowatt hours, so very, very close. Anyway, I call that a pass for sure. All right, can this Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery power? Follow this black cord, a high-end gaming PC workstation. Here I've got three 4K monitors. I've got a 4K gaming benchmark running on that to push the PC as hard as we possibly can. Notice down here that uh, there's nothing plugged into the power outlet and uh, that's because we're getting power from that battery. The Power Queen battery is awesome because it is smart. Now we've got the app right here. You can see that it's estimating that with basically a full charge, we've got approximately two hours of runtime off of that. And check that out. We're pulling 600 and almost 700 watts out of it. 51, 53, 52 amps. So it's handling this no problem. All right, can this 12 volt battery run? full-size household vacuum cleaner. Let's find out. Look at that, 1500 watts, 125 amps. Oh, and that is great to see. It just shut down for overcurrent protection. That's exactly what we wanna see. We wanna see it be able to handle a heavy load for uh, a few seconds, and then we wanna see it shut off to protect itself in overcurrent state. All right, another high amperage test. We've got this uh, 12 volt power queen battery plugged into an electric hot plate now. So let's uh, give it a shot here. Yeah, check that out, 135 amps, 1600 watts, 1700 watts, and there we go, it just shut down. So it is uh, in an overcurrent state. We learned that it's self-reset, so let's go ahead and turn the load off so that uh, when it resets, it doesn't try to run this heavy load again. Let's watch the app as it resets here. And there we go, we're back online. So I think Power Queen has knocked it out of the park as far as giving us a good balance of surge power and uh, overcurrent protection. All right, one of everyone's favorite tests. Can this Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate trolling motor battery power? Follow this cord, a batch of wash. Now this is a gas dryer. So let's uh, let's see what uh, happens. All right, starting three, two, one. It uh, struggled a little bit and it, was, it didn't record, but uh, this can pull in excess of 3000 watts for just a split second uh, to get started. But uh, that uh, Power Queen battery fired it right up. You can see that now that it's running, we're only pulling uh, nearly 400 watts, 350, uh, right in there, bouncing around a little bit. So not very much power at all. All right, let's uh, do the wash next. Okay, we're on the spin cycle here on the washer. And if we uh, look over here, uh, we're pulling around 600 watts. It's fluctuating a little bit, uh, but approximately 600 watts. So piece of cake. You want to know if this Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate trolling motor battery is able to run. Follow this cord a 120 volt mini split heat pump. Well, let's find out. All right, we're back in the garage here and uh, here's the app. And uh, on startup here, you can see that uh, that mini split is pulling the mid 700 watt range. That's just because it barely turned on and it's uh, getting everything uh, warmed up and stuff. It'll actually ramp all the way down to like 200 watts once it just kind of starts coasting and maintaining the temperature. Generally, I'd say I see an average of a full four hours of runtime off of one of these on that mini split heat pump. And I can get less if it's really cold and I can get more if it's uh, a warmer day uh, or if it's in air conditioning mode. Today, we're running it in heat mode. All right, can this Power Queen 12 volt trolling motor battery power follow this yellow cord? Comes down over here. We've got a full-size microwave right here. We've got the app pulled up. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Look at that, 1900 watts, 153 amps. That's a lot of power. Still going. Oh, and it just died. But then it protected itself and went to overcurrent protection. That's exactly what we want to see. Enough oomph to get something going, but still having overcurrent protections in place. So really good job, Power Queen. Next test, can this Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour trolling motor battery power? Follow the yellow cord again a full-size household gas furnace. 
and we have ignition. All right, we are fully up to speed here. Let's just uh, check in on the app. You can see right there we're pulling just about 500 watts exactly, 39, 40 amps, and uh, with its current state of charge, it's estimating about uh, two hours uh, of runtime. All right, we just got this uh, battery out of the freezer. You may uh, be able to see the frost and stuff on it. This is a very frozen battery. I was out of town the whole weekend and this sat uh, in the freezer the entire weekend. So it is as frozen as a battery can get. We've also got uh, this trusty Power Queen battery charger. We'll be utilizing that to test uh, low temperature charging protection on this battery. It says right there in big letters that uh, it's got it. Uh, we'll see uh, if that is indeed the case or not. All right, here we go. And there we go, that's exactly what should happen. So good job, Power Queen, on giving us low temperature charging protection on this battery. All right, I think Power Queen has really hit it out of the park on this one. It checks pretty much every box. And I think it's a fantastic offering. And I absolutely love this charger. It's super light, easy. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this.